Now, this time last week, we were celebrating the creation of the BBC Bristol Garden, our outdoor studio designed with wildlife, not the presenters, in mind. So, seven days on, how much wildlife has actually found its way there? Well, we invited local school children to, call, uh, to do what's called a bio blitz. It's a rigorous survey of every inch of the space. And we enlisted the help of the one show's Mike Dilger to explain what they found. Right, I've got my specimen pots, I've got my pooter, I've got my butterfly net. All I need now is some help. Bio blitzers, are you ready? Yeah! Run around! <laughs> OK, we've got five schools and one hour. Let's see what wildlife's <laughs> arrive. Right at it, I can see it. You got it? Yeah. yeah. Well done. The moment an insect lands yeah. on the web, it moves it and, and the spider it. runs up, up, runs it up, it bites it and then wraps it up in yeah, silk. and then it sucks its blood. Well, it eats it, actually. Really? The garden's now full of activity and the finds keep coming too. It's another hoverfly, a fourth species of hoverfly. It's green underneath. Yeah. That is and weird. That is really good. And the most important thing you have to take away is if the garden wasn't here, we wouldn't be finding these. So the garden has attracted these insects to the BBC roof. Brilliant find. Well done. Ooh, what a result. We're getting so much wildlife. And the sun's come out as well. Can't ask better than that. Midge larvae. Midge? Midge. You know the ones that bite you? Oh, yeah, yeah. For me, midge larvae are find of the day. And these, in turn, will bring aquatic predators into the garden. And then there's this. That is a huge... That's what we thought. That is a huge garden worm spider. That's a female, because it's got a massive abdomen and she's probably full of eggs. Isn't that fantastic? The fact that so many spiders have made it here can only mean one thing an abundance of spider food, lots of smaller insects. Right, guys, we found in one hour four species of spider, four species of hoverfly, two species of bee, a flower bug, a mite, an ant, three species of fly and midge larvae. And that's after just one week of the garden being here and in one hour. And if you want to find out more information about bioblitzing, go to the BBC website, The Summer of Wildlife. Bioblitzers, give yourself a round of applause. Woo!